Today I'm going to be showing you guys three of my favorite ways to flash a window with Huberwood. I'm going to show you a couple different ways to use their product. Keep in mind, any of these products can be interchanged. You can mix it up however you feel is right for you. And overall, it's a simple process. I just got windows dropped on this place a couple days back and I want to make sure that we're prepped. So I'm out here Friday afternoon, going to prep all the sills on this place where we're good to go for Monday morning. Today's video is sponsored by Huberwood. Thank you guys very much. Let's make it happen. So this window still is a little bit different. I have the CS16 strapping that runs along the side of my building. I can't cover it completely because I have to have my shear nailing inspection first. So I'm going to leave it from there off and then from the other side off as well. I had to put one piece of tape to cover that. Now I've got the next piece going into the sill over that tape. So now I'm going to show you guys how we take care of this corner here and this corner here. You can do it with the liquid flashing, but when you have scrapping like this, which we do quite often, it's easiest just to throw some stretch tape on it. We want this to go up this. So we want this to go up a bit. We'll cut it right about here. So with the stretch tape here, we're just going to peel the back off. Put half inside, half on the out. So now we're here. We got both these little flappy wings coming off. We're going to go ahead and just peel out and attach to the building. You can get a pretty good stretch on this stuff. You don't want to overstretch it. And just like that, that corner is done. So we've got our stretch tape for this side. We're going to wrap this side up. And then the only thing we have left to do is roll the tape. What's up? Now that we're up in our corner, we can go ahead and roll the rest out. We get a nice good overlap. You don't ever want to butt anything that seals. And we'll go ahead and start here at the top. Simple little stretch on out. You can kind of work it takes a little bit to get used to, but once you do it a couple times, it's no big deal. That easy, it's done. Only thing we do have left, you wanna make sure you roll everything. I've been to a lot of houses that have Huberwood installed, the zip system sheathing, the Advantech, the whole nine yards. They're trying to build better. The problem is that a lot of them don't take that last step, rolling the tape. They feel like if they just rub it with their hand, pat it down a little bit, it's good to go. Let me show you guys the tape that I just put on this sill before and after rolling. The difference will show tremendously. You guys will then understand why you're supposed to roll the tape because the tape itself, it's sticky. It'll stick, it'll stay down. But until you roll it and truly get that bond, it's not going to hold as good as you think. A 
it's not an extra step, it's just a step in using this product. A lot of people think that they can just bypass it by rubbing their hand on it or stepping on it good enough. That does not work. So the next method I wanna show you guys is using the liquid flashing here. We've got the green applicator gun here. We cut the tip off, throw it on in here, and you can use this thing for as long as you want. This stuff dries in about four hours, so I recommend doing it the day before. Go through and do all your windows. That's what I'm doing here today. And then they'll be prepped for the next day. Some people really enjoy using the liquid flashing for the whole entire window, for the whole sill. Me personally, I enjoy using the regular old flashing tape. It's simple, it's easy, it's effective. And then using a specialty on the corners. This allows me to get things done a lot faster. I can have Steven go through and do all the sills like he's doing right now, and I can go through and do all of our corners. Now there's a few reasons I don't enjoy using the liquid flashing for windows. It's great for many other things. I use it for the foundation up to wall connection and any penetrations in the wall it works great for. As far as doing it for windows, a lot of the times we're not spending a day ahead of time prepping windows, getting everything set up. We are simply waterproofing the sill, throwing the window in and then waterproofing around the outside, moving to the next one. When you have liquid flashing, this stuff is pretty tacky. When you're using the liquid flashing, it takes around 30 minutes to skin to get a hard texture on the outside and four hours to dry. That is why my favorite method is using the regular old flashing tape and then hitting the sides with some stretch tape. Works great, and along with that, just stretch tape from end to end. It's a great method. You can set a window right afterwards. There's no wait time, which is probably my favorite thing about it, and there's no mess. So let's show you my last and final method, which is the regular old stretch tape from end to end on the window easiest in my opinion and it works the best. Not only that, the stretch tape is just fun to play with. So I've got the stretch tape down here. I cut it six inches up, six inches up, all the way across. We're gonna set it in here and we're gonna start with one side. We'll pull it through and work our way over the other. So you wanna make sure that you get these corners nice and tight. Best way to do that is with a speed square. Push down in there. We'll work that more after it's done. So now we've got the sill wrapped all the way. It's time to start on one side, stretch out, and go all the way around. You want to work the corner out and start at the bottom. You don't ever want to overstretch it to where you can see all the way through it, but you can stretch this stuff quite a bit. We'll work this corner. That is probably why this is my favorite method. It's a single step, nothing more. Put the stretch tape on, roll it, and you're on to the next one. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. There is many different ways to do it. Any variation you want to, you can use stretch tape across the sill and liquid flash the sides if you felt like it. Liquid flash the whole thing, stretch the whole thing. Let me know what you guys think is the best way of doing it or which way you think would be the best way for you to do it. I personally enjoy that stretch tape. It's a single process, nothing crazy. 
anyone can do it as well. The alternative to that little bit cheaper method is using the regular flashing tape and stretch tape in the sides. That works great too. Liquid flashing, it's for some people. If you have recessed windows or some tricky spots, liquid flashing is by far the best way to go. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you, Huberwood, for sponsoring it. I'll see you guys next time. Bang on.